really, really like to see me too. Girl that's not afraid to call you daddy. <laughs> Wrestling fans, welcome to your favorite show, WWE Raw Review, presented by WrestleFanet with your host, the founder of WrestleFanet, Nikunj Valia. Tonight's Raw was absolutely spectacular. The go-home edition to WWE Clash at the Castle proved to be exceptionally well, with some interesting moments, some shocking moments, one superstar written off WWE TV programming, another getting a high-stakes victory. So, let's wrap it up all together in our newest WWE Raw Review video on WrestleFanet! Starting out with the festivities was Drew McIntyre. So of course, the Scottish Warrior is in for a big opportunity this Saturday at WWE Clash at the Castle as he faces Damien Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship. McIntyre opened the show and addressed his opponents alongside their cohorts, the Judgment Day, who might be proving to be a deciding factor for his match. But instead, the World Heavyweight Champion Damien Priest proposed a match between his cohort Finn Balor and McIntyre, with the stipulation that should McIntyre win the match, no Judgment Day. They won't be anywhere around at ringside at Clash of the Castle. But if Finn Balor won, then they will be all around the ring. They could be here, they could be there, they could be everywhere. And that would reduce the chances of Drew McIntyre to attain championship glory. The match was set for the main event and it was a highly exhilarating action between both the top Raw superstars. The closing moments of the board saw Damien Priest walking down the aisle, probably to distract McIntyre, but that was not all it. The other Judgment Day members also joined the fray, but the Scottish Warrior was ready and he took out each and every one of them. That short interference did give Finn Balor the opening, mm -mm, but it wasn't enough for him to get the win, as Drew McIntyre laid a thunderous claymore and knocked out the Demon Prince and secured the victory, meaning that his championship match against Damon Priest at WWE Clash at the Castle is indeed gonna be one-on-one. -on -one. Coming up next, the ongoing Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio saga continues with an interesting turn. So as the start of the show saw that Liv Morgan was already present in the Judgment Day locker room, she was there on some romantic business with your Dom Dom. Of course, she said that why would she like to call somebody mommy when he could become somebody's daddy. Oh yeah, Liv Morgan was all serious in enticing Dominic Mysterio towards him and even offered him her room key. Can you believe it guys? Her own room key was offered by Liv Morgan right there and there. Dom told the entire thing to his Judgment Day members who were also surprised by the same and that same hotel room key was then missing. Who took it? Hmm, well wait for it. I know the answer. You're gonna find out in this video. Moving forward later in the night, it was a six-man tag team match between Rey Mysterio, Dragon Lee and Braun Strowman against the Judgment Day members and Carlito in JD McDonough and Dominic Mysterio. Of course, the match was highly exhilarating, but the most interesting part of the match was Liv Morgan once again making a presence felt and was at the apron trying to seduce or entice Dominic to come towards her. Of course, Dominic then came down to the ring and he was trying to reason out with Liv only for Zelina Vega to push Liv Morgan right on to Dominic Mysterio and she falling flat on her face exactly how she would have wanted the hotel room scene to be, guys. And that was not all. Liv Morgan's smile and the expression that she had on her face totally had evil intentions of seducing Dominic Mysterio. Coming up next, the ongoing Intercontinental Championship saga. Of course, last week we saw Sami Zayn being pulverized by Otis after he believed that Sami did attack his Alpha Academy members, only for Zayn to clarify it in a backstage segment right before his match with the Big Daddy, Big Massey Otis. The match proved to be a highly action-packed affair, only for the end to see Chad Gable once again enticing Otis to attack his rival in hopes of winning the Intercontinental Championship much easier at this Saturday's WWE Clash at the Castle. However, the most interesting moment saw Otis 
about to nearly strike Chad Gable with his big and meaty fist only to stop at the last moment. What will happen this Sunday at Clash of the Castle is surely going to be interesting. Will Otis finally turn on Chad Gable? Will he stick by his side? Will Sami Zayn retain? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to find that this Saturday. But for now, the Raw review has finally given us a lot of hints that Otis might have made his decision. Right up next, we have the sad news of Ricochet probably being off and gone from WWE. So, of course, the wrestling world is buzzing that Ricochet has given a notice to WWE that he's not going to renew his contract that is up this summer. And tonight was possibly the last night that we saw the highlight of the night. The festivities began with Ricochet having a talk with Ilya Dragunov who was scheduled to bear the woof 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 brawn breaker in a highly exhilarating action. The match was as expected as brutal it could have been on Monday Night Raw only to see Braun Breaker walk out the victorious over a fallen Ilya Dragunov. However, Breaker was not done there as he attempted to launch a post-match assault only for Ricochet to intercept in between and save his friend. As both Ilya and Ricochet were going off in the backstage area, Braun Breaker once again struck but this time chose to strike on Ricochet and delivered a vicious beat down on him that culminated in power bombing Ricochet off from a hide straight to the bonnet of a car. This was WWE's way to finally write off Ricochet and it is possibly hinted that he will not be returning to the company as he was seen being carted out in an ambulance alongside his fiance and current WWE announcer Samantha Irwin. Coming up next, the other highlights from Monday Night Raw. Of course, there was other matches as well that were featured on tonight's card which saw Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler picking up the win over Isla Dawn and Alba Fire ahead of their huge tag team showdown. The Miz and R-Truth retaining their World Tag Team Championship courtesy of an interference by Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. And lastly, it was EO Sky who picked up the victory over Lyra Valkyria after falling short last time they squared off and possibly losing her mind by saying that damage control needs to change. Well, these were all the filler surprises, but get ready for the ultimate one as it comes in our last segment. And finally, let's talk about the ongoing mystery surrounding the QR codes. So, of course, we all were expecting that another QR code will pop up on our screen and it will lead to another clue hinting at the rumored return of Uncle Howdy and his rumored faction. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your guess was absolutely right as mine as the final clue, hopefully the final clue, I will say, has been dropped on this week's Monday Night Raw that has possibly hinted at Uncle Howdy making his return to next week's Monday Night Raw as the QR code led to a web page which had a very threatening kind of a message and a countdown timer that was supposed to end in the next six days, which is, of course, the next Monday Night Raw. Will Uncle Howdy finally show up after his failure to show up? Well, people were expecting it to be King of the Ring or maybe Clash of the Castle. But I think that it's surely going to happen next week on the Red Brand. And we all should be ready for the terror to once again engulf the WWE landscape. And for Uncle Howdy to continue the legacy of the late great Bray Wyatt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for this edition's Monday Night Raw. If you like the video, then like, comment, share, and do subscribe to our channel, WrestleFanet. Thank you so much. We'll see you all again next week after Clash at the Castle and bring you all the fallout from the great event that is scheduled to be taking place in the native land of Scotland. Take care, guys. We're going to see you in the next video.